How's it going, Fish Fam? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we are going to be checking out episodes 72 and 73 of One Piece. I was literally, like, responding to comments and stuff before I hopped on here, and my home office for work slash, you know, recording room is also our guest bedroom. So we have, like, the guest bed is behind this backdrop. Someone had, like, asked a question in one of the previous videos about... I'll, I'll just show it to you. Hold on. Giant fucking loaf of bread pillow back there. And someone saw it in one of the previous videos and was like, yo, what the fuck? Um, yeah, me and my friends, we do we uh, white elephant every year. Yeah, he, he already stole it from me. I was going to say this is now it's just become like a thing that my dog humps. Literally stole it out of my hand. So. He's a freak. He's a freak in the sheets. I don't know what to say. He's a little street dog that we adopted five years ago. And I, I don't know what his history is, but apparently back in his day, he used to get down because he still, uh, he has, there, there, he has no shame. He has absolutely no shame. He's breaking this bread's back. It, anyways, what are we talking? One piece? Right. One piece. That's, that's what we're here for. Yeah, what a great segue, dude. The Giants are about to have a duel, I guess. Uh, they have these duels periodically for the past like 100 years on this random fucking island that they're both exiled to. Yeah, so let's just see some Giants punch each other, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what else could possibly happen this episode. No clue what's going on in this show anymore. Let's just get into it. Hold on, what the fuck? I just recorded my whole ass intro and I didn't realize that uh, my camera white balance has me looking like a deep fried meme. Um, boom, there we go. Oh wait, I can't look. Oh wait, I need my headphones to be on. I'm a hot mess, dude. Did he headbutt the axe, or was, like, the axe that weak that when he hit, it just, like, shattered the handle? Yeah, but he didn't miss, so it's fine, right? Like, that's the mentality I'm assuming he had about it. He was like, yeah, if I miss, I die. If I don't miss, it works. Is Usopp getting fighting tips from these giants right now? <laughs> Bro, that has to be one of like the top 10 anime laughs. <laughs> Is that an analogy? I mean, I guess, like, technically it's an analogy, even if it's, like, not a good one. Right? I don't... Yeah, I don't think that... I don't know if Usopp knows what an analogy is. Or maybe I don't know what an analogy is. One of us is very confused. Yeah, but the fight is also up for them. So they're looking up the whole time, regardless. Bro, you nap the whole day, and then the second I start watching anything, you have to make the biggest ruckus imaginable right next to me. Like, at a certain point, don't they have, like, a level of mutual respect for each other? Where they're just like, you know, let's just let this shit go. <laughs> they don't even remember why they're fighting anymore. They're just doing it for the sake of pride at this point, right? You're both the strongest. You're equally strong. 
I thought one of them just shit his pants. I thought that's what that noise was. They're just after the fight. They're just like, all right, back to vibes. We're just back to chilling on an island now. Bro, let the bread rest. Jesus Christ. The bread is starting to look like Swiss cheese. He's put so many holes in it. Is that just from people waiting for their log? Oh my god. Who would be stupid enough to attack them, bro? You guys could easily survive for a year with, like, the crew that you have. Surviving a year wouldn't be the issue. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Luffy would get too bored. So, you guys are going to leave. Yeah. I, I figured. That's, like, the most Luffy shit to do. Just go around randomly and hope for the best. Yeah, she she's not down with them just laughing about it. Ex bro, exactly. None of that shit's gonna matter when you're fucking worm food. You know? It doesn't matter how many McDonald's franchises you own when you're being eaten by bugs. Did they... Did they just kill him? No. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but why the fuck would Luke... Why the fuck would they do that? Bro, that's such a sick visual. Bro, why would they do that and stick around? Like, you have to know that they wouldn't just stick around afterwards. Good, I'm really glad he didn't just pull Zoro randomly. Because he does like to do that. Just randomly yoink Zoro into terrible situations. Oh. Yeah, that's rough. Bro really hit him with a rubber bullet. He's fine. He just got smushed flat, right? Yeah. Of course. Of course he's good. Something as simple as a giant stepping on him wouldn't hurt him. Don't be ridiculous. I like how he immediately knows that it's not someone else in his crew. But when all of the, like, people from the island fought Zoro, he was like, I can't believe Zoro beat up all these innocent bystanders. <laughs> like, sometimes he has such a positive perception of them, and other times he's just like, I can't believe they would do this. Because Luffy and Zoro would have no problem beating those two. Are you sure about that? Yeah. That means it's time for another duel. But, uh... Big Bro doesn't seem like he's gonna get up. Damn, bro. Just stepped on Sarah from the land before time. Yeah, I was gonna say, how often does it go off then? We're both in the same condition. We both just came to a draw in our last fight. He's just as fucked up as I am. Then he'll die. I feel like he's gonna, like, uh... The other giant is going to notice he's, like, that fucked up and just be like, Bro, I'm not gonna fight you. You're not... Like, you're not at 100%. Why would I want to fight you? You know? 
Like, I feel like that has to be what happens here. Because from everything that we've seen of those two, it just, I don't know. It doesn't feel like what he would do. Like, I, I feel like he just wouldn't take advantage of the situation to the degree where he'd be like, yeah, he's very clearly been like fucked up and like weakened by outside forces. I'm going to take advantage of that and win this fight. Like, it just doesn't seem like based on everything that we've seen as far as their interactions over the past two episodes. I, I can't imagine that being what actually takes place, you know? Yeah, like, as far as Baroque works goes, these dudes are, like, absolute scum of the earth, right? Like, they're, like, all for the purposes of money, which, like, Nami has lived most of her life for money, but money for her was, like, a means to an end. Money for them is just money for the purposes of, like, having money. You know, they're obviously people who do horrible shit right he, like one piece aside everywhere has people who do horrible horrible shit they're all do in general at least from my perspective most of the people who are doing like objectively horrible shit it's because from their point of view or from their like whatever twisted perspective they might have they think what they're doing is like morally correct or they're doing something that is good for a certain group of people that they care about right whereas these dudes are doing like the most evil shit and laughing about it and they're just doing it to like get a bag and i feel like luffy and the crew is not gonna fuck with that at all and they're definitely going to once they like catch on to what happened here and they're finally able to like get their hands like around baroque works like it, it's just lights out right like they have no shot of coming back there's just no shot that baroque works as a whole stands any sort of chance against our crew like at least from what i've seen so far it just doesn't make any sense how they would be able to stand up to them so uh, I'm just ready to see them like get their asses beat for sure. So let's just go to the next one Bro, he I feel like he's just gonna be pissed right Like there I, I know I've already said it a bunch, but there's no way he's okay with this Like he's gonna be pissed when he finds out what happened, right? Bum, 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 bum. What the fuck? Oh. Damn. So Luffy can't interfere in the duel? Yeah. It's, it's not your place to interfere. Like, yeah. Like, that's just his view on it, right? It's just like... If he didn't... If... Yeah. Yeah, that's just his perspective on it. If I... <coughs> Fuck. If he wanted me to win the fight, then I would be able to win the fight. But how the fuck is Luffy supposed to get out of there once they do lose the fight? Is he gonna just tell the other giant to go get Luffy after the fight? I, I get why Usopp is saying that. Like, pr from his perspective, it's all, you know, to call them stupid is like the same equivalent line of just like insulting Usopp's entire like reason for living or like his entire dream that he's pursuing. Because he, like, views them as, like, an idyllic figure in terms of, like, what his dream is. Like, they are what his dream is, right? Oh no, that's foreshadowing.
Oh no, it's foreshadowing, bro. It's foreshadowing. Usopp's gonna die alone on a deserted island. Bro really hit him with the double entendre. Oh, he's not even bringing it up. Yeah. Wow, I... He didn't notice at all. He's like not making excuses for it. Because like making an excuse here would be like the same as completely like taking that victory away from him, right? It's... He would do it for literally anyone. But, like, the fact that it's someone who is doing something so, like, passionate or is doing something because they're, like, so prideful and care so much about, like, a specific dream the same way Luffy kind of does, like, of course he's gonna go this far for them. That's not Nami? The, did Baroque Works have time to make a scarecrow of Nami? Like, what the fuck is going on? Huh? Bro, what the fuck was that? Bro. The, the second they lose Nami, everyone on the crew is fucked. They can't even, like, walk in a fucking straight line without her. And Usopp also has, like, the same level of respect on the opposite end that, like, Luffy does. Yeah. It's fucked. It's fucked! Like, everyone agrees. The whole situation is fucked. Is that his devil fruit power? He sets his hair on fire? What the fuck? And then he shoots out some goo? Did he just, like, get him killed with fucking hair product? Like, what the fuck just happened? Bro set his hair on fire and sent out some, some juice? Some fucking soul glow? Except it's not, bro. It's not! It has nothing to do with your guys' god, bro. Bro, he's such a piece of shit. I can't wait for Luffy to kill that guy. Honestly, no. Fucking... The other giant deserves to kill him. Bro. If slash when this dude learns the fucking truth, he's gonna be absolutely fucking devastated <laughs> bro they beat up her duck after everything else they did it doesn't seem like it's uh like a huge thing but the fact that they were willing to just like absolutely obliterate like what is essentially the most defenseless person that they could find is absolutely crazy. Damn. And he was down for the set too. He wasn't gonna do shit. Bro, you're fucking dead. You're dead! That's it! She's dead! Usopp will do it. Nah. I, for I forgot about her nipple ring weapons. It's still one of the most ridiculous enemies we've seen. Bro just straight flicking boogers at people. Okay, so he also has a devil fruit. So, how many Devil Fruit users have we met so far? Like, I'm actually gonna need to start, like, making a spreadsheet of all the Devil Fruits. Candle Man? Yeah, okay. 
Oh, is- so his hair is like a wick? So he's literally like melting himself into wax? Like, is that what's happening? That seems like a... Of the powers we've seen from Devil Fruits, that seems the least busted. I I'm honestly, I, I need someone in the comment section or there, there has to be like a list on the internet that I could look up, but I feel like it'd be spoilery. So I need someone in the comments to like create me a curated list of the Devil Fruit users I already know. Because honestly, I'm starting to lose track. Like this is, uh, I, I was expecting it to be like a rare thing, but it's like every episode there's someone with like some random new ability. Like I I'm worried that we're gonna get to a point where it's just gonna be like, oh yeah, okay. Episode 900, uh, New Island, here's the guy with the sucky sucky fruit. Oh brother, this guy stinks! Like, I at, at what point does... I, I I don't know, maybe that was just like my own like naiveness around the show, but like I thought the devil fruits were going to be like something exceedingly rare. Like at least that's how it kind of made it seem initially because of, you know, what Shanks said when the concept was like first introduced where he was like, yeah, this is worth like, this is worth like the most treasure out of anything we've ever seen. It's worth, you know, billions of berry and like even when uh you know buggy ate one like they were saying the same thing so it just makes it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me i guess that they're just like so widespread or widely used maybe that's just because of like the people we're getting to know now in the show but it just seems like they're so commonplace already like this early on in the show once again, though, we're, we find ourselves in a situation where it's like a major, potentially made, like, I, I don't know yet because I haven't like fully watched the arc, but it seems like we're about to find ourselves in a major combat situation. And once again, Luffy is like, they has managed to be handicapped. So I'm curious, like, I know I touched on it a lot during our long park where I was like, is this going to be a common theme where every time we have a big fight luffy just gets thrown into the ocean um the answer is no Th every time we have a major fight luffy is going to get stuck though like i'm waiting for the episode where somehow they manage to just like trap luffy in a well like i i don't know man it's just so funny how like the strongest character we know so far just manages to be <laughs> like get caught off guard so often and put into these like seemingly inescapable positions where he's just like fucked for the whole fight you know what i mean normally i try and sit here and think about stuff for a while but honestly i'm getting kind of hungry so uh i gotta i gotta wrap this shit up you know what i'm saying i gotta go get some pho oh actually yeah no that sounds hella good i i i'm gonna go get some pho when i'm done recording this um let me know in the comments bro do you like pho do you fuck with pho let me know down below um if you don't you're wrong and everyone else is going to roast you in the fucking comments so that's gonna be fun for you um but Regardless, with all that said, don't forget to hit the subscription button down below. Make sure you tap the notification bell so you get notified the next time I post a One Piece video. And I will see you on the next one.